there are so many things to learn about the injection of services in angular application in the previous video we have created a counter service and we are using this counter service at two places the first one is the home page of this application and the second one is old books component let's try to understand the concept of injection in more detail in angular application here we are in the visual studio code and this is the code that we are using for this bookstore application if i expand this app folder go to the shared we have services and this is the service that we are using in this application for now just for the testing purpose now i am going to remove this particular provided in from this service and i want to use the module injection so i am going to copy this service name and go to the app module so basically we are learning a concept and i am going to inject this service in the root module that is the app module here we are this is the providers let's put this name and resolve this import so here i can use this quick fix add import save the changes go back to the browser everything should work as expected if i click on this counter button it is getting increase decreasing also let's go to the all books the value is 1 if i'm clicking plus plus it get increase here you can notice one thing that we have injected this service in the root module and this is working as a singleton service it means if you are making any change from this old books then we are getting those changes on this home page similarly if you are making any change from this home page we will also get those changes on this old books okay now let's understand what is inside this providers array if i press the control button and hit the left button from my mouse we will have this particular page so this providers is basically an array of provider so what is an provider let's see in this provider we are having couple of types this is the type provider value provider class provider constructor provider and there are few more values also over here if the type is provider it means inside this providers array we can provide these different types let's start the learning from this class provider so if i go inside this class provider either i can use go to definition press f12 or right click and choose this go to definition or simply just press the control button and then hit the left button from your mouse so we are inside this class provider in this class provider we are having two properties this is the provide and this is the multi this one is required because there is no question mark after this provide this one is the optional one and remember this class provider is getting extend from this class sense provider let's see what we have in this class sense provider also so this is written below over here and here we are having this use class so it means if i want to provide a different type that is the class provider then i have to provide at least two properties the first is this provide and second is this use class let's understand this concept so i'm back to this app module and over here let's say for now i'm just removing this counter service and because we can provide different types and for that we can create an object like this you can see we are having that provide property over here and let's say just for now i'm writing null and we are also having use class over here so basically i want to use the class provider and here we are having two things provide and the use class okay so let's use the same counter service over here in this provide like this now we are having this use class let's put the counter service here also now what is the meaning of this logic it means if we are injecting this particular service in our application and we are using this use class then this application will provide the instance from this particular class so as of now this will not make any sense because we are putting the same name over here and the same name here also and we are kind of confusing things we are saying if we are injecting this particular service in our component then we will get the instance of this particular service so as of now both of them are same so ideally there will not be any kind of change so save all the changes go back to the browser let's verify the changes if i'm pressing this counter plus plus button you will notice we are having this counter increasing decreasing as well go to the old books we are already on the old books go to the home page we are having this two increasing decreasing everything is working fine now what is the purpose of using this use class okay so let's go to this counter service and over here let's create one more copy so let's copy it and just paste it again 
so we are having this copy and here i am giving it a name counter to service and this time let's update this name as well so this is counter to service okay so basically we are having another copy of that counter service so what we are doing we are using this counter service in our components that is this all books component here you can see we are using this counter service and at the home page also here we are in the public components home this is the home component here also we are using the counter service okay let's go to the counter to service and this time instead of using this plus plus let's increase the value by 2 so here i'm writing plus equal to and here also i'm writing minus is equals to 2 it means if we are using the counter service then the increment will be by 1 if we are using this counter to service then the increment will be by 2 also the decrement will be by 2 or by 1 in the counter service okay now let's go back to the app module and this time over here instead of using this counter service i will be using counter to service let's use the proper import over here so quick fix and use this import just save the changes let's understand what changes we have made if i go to this particular tab in the app module we have made the changes so basically inside the providers array we are providing this counter service and we are using this counter to service in the use class and we are importing both of them in the counter service we have removed this provided in and here also in the counter to service this is basically a new service and we are increasing or decreasing the value by 2 there is no change in the components where we are using this counter service so we have saved all the changes let's go to the browser and let's see what we have this time so here i am clicking on this plus button this time you will notice that the value will get increased by 2 4 6 8 it means this time the instance has been created from counter to class although we are using the counter service in all our components but we are getting the instance from counter to service the decreasing is also working by 2 let's go to the all box here also we are having the same value it means the instance is same and we are getting the value if i increase plus 2 that is the 6 also minus 2 so this is the main use of this use class without making any change in your components you can create the instance from a separate class now let's talk about a scenario so let's say you have already created your application and by using one service you have done everything now you want to use some other provider for that particular feature in that scenario if you will update the existing service then you have to update your code at all the places but by using this particular concept you do not have to make any change in your existing one you can simply create the instance from a new one now let's understand few more concepts so let's say here i am inside this counter to service and there are also possibilities let's say you are using one third party service in your application and you want to extend that service and you want to define those functions by yourself so here let's say i am extending the service from counter service this one just for the learning purpose just assume that this is a third party service so there are two methods inside this counter service these two methods i want to create these definitions in this own application so what i can do over here i can simply use the super method and we are done we do not have to make any change in this application in the module level we can define this third party name although it is not a third party but just assume that this is a third party so in the module level we can define that third party name and here we can define our own implementation so what will happen you will create the instance of this third party service but you will get the instance from our own service let's verify this change as well so this counter is working fine go to home and this is also working fine now let's assume one more concept let's say this counter to service is also dependent on one more service so here for the learning purpose i am creating one more service and let's give it a meaningful name or i can write test dot service like this and here let's update this name so here i'm writing test service and i'm just removing this counter service from here 
let's not keep anything over here so I'm removing everything this is a blank this is a blank service okay so I want to use this test service inside this counter too in the constructor I can define the access modifier let's say I'm having this private and here I'm writing test service let's define that test service and I'm just resolving it like this okay we have saved everything although we are not using it over here but let's assume this counter to service also need the instance of this test service so we are not making any further change in this application let's go back to the browser and here you can see we are getting some problem that counterpart is not visible let's go to the inspect go to the console and here you will notice we are having an error to fix this error we have to tell the angular application that we are also using this test service okay let's go back to the app module and here also because this is an array so we can provide that service also just save all the changes go back to the browser let's see what we have now we are having the counter back it is working as expected go to the old books it is working perfectly fine if your service is dependent on some other service then you have to define that service here in the providers array as well and this is how you can use the use class for the injection of services in angular application